The only true side effect I personally experienced was like I said, just that. Yo, what is up AD team? Austin Dunham back again with another video. And in today's video, we're gonna talk about my one year journey using minoxidil for my beard transformation. Now, backstory, about a year ago, I was watching some music video and I saw this dude with a beard and I looked at myself, I was like, I wonder what it would be like if I grew a beard at. But I felt like I couldn't grow a beard at all. Never had one, never even seen hair on the sides of my face like it is now. And basically I started researching on how people can grow beards if they can't grow one. And I came across some minoxidil videos. And then that's when I started my own personal journey with using minoxidil. Now, if you don't know what, what minoxidil is, it's basically this foam or cream or liquid that you put on your hair that people usually use for the top of their heads when they're botting. And basically it stimulates hair growth and it makes hair grow. Some of you might know it as Rogaine also, but minoxidil is pretty much the main ingredient and that's what it is known outside of Rogaine. So with that being said, I started documenting my progress from month one all the way up until like month three or four. And then I created a transformation video, which is the most popular video on this channel with like over 700,000 views, showing my progress on how I grew a beard from nothing, right? Now, 365 days later, I've been using minoxidil twice a day, every single day. Every single day without fail. And I'm gonna tell you some of my experiences and other tips I've learned throughout this past year. All right, so now that you know my reasoning why I decided to undergo this transformation, this new look of having a beard, let's talk about the number one thing that a lot of people wanna know throughout this past year is if I had any personal side effects while using minoxidil. Um, I watched some videos and some people say they have like heart palpitations, they have other weird problems. And guys, honestly, I've experienced zero side effects that will affect me negatively, right? Zero, absolutely none. So the only side effect that I did experience of some sort is just getting like this dry patch of skin on my upper lip, right? And I didn't have that for the longest time until like 10 months of use. So it really didn't start beginning dry until like two months ago. So I used it with 10 months with zero dry skin, zero at all. And then once I started putting out the top, like I said, my upper lip started having flaky dry skin. But besides that, uh, the way I combated that is simply just by moisturizing my skin after I apply it and just kind of tweaking things that way. So the only true side effect I personally experienced was like I said, just that little patch of dry skin at my upper lip right there. Now let me tell you about like how I really got results throughout this past year. So as you see my transformation video, like the hair started growing, but it was patchy, right? So it would be like here, here, here is weird, right? But then what changed the game was when after I grew all that patchy hair out is I trimmed it. I trimmed it really, really low, right? Then I kept applying minoxidil and then uh, miraculous, miraculously, it started growing back all even across my face, all right? So it stopped growing back patchy and it came back just more even. Now my hair is still thicker on my chin area than my mustache. That's because I naturally grow hair right there and the hairs in that area are what's called terminal hairs, right? Which means they're hard, they're stiff, they're pretty much permanent. Now, in regards to terminal hairs on my, my beard area, are they terminal yet after a year? I still believe these hairs are still more new, like they're a bit more softer and a bit more less dense than this hair. So with that being said, they're not fully terminal yet or fully permanent in my opinion. They could be, I don't know. But I feel like within uh, the next year at least, they're gonna be. Because if you guys don't know, if you've done your research, hairs can turn terminal with long, long-term use of the minoxidil um, stuff. So um, over time, also throughout the months, the hairs have gotten a bit denser and a bit darker because when I first started off, they were very, very sparse and even light almost. Like it started growing out a bit blonde. It was weird. But um, yeah, that's how my hairs on my face are right now. All right, now the future use with me and minoxidil is simply I'm still gonna keep using it. I think I'm gonna keep using it for another year, whole another year, so two years straight for twice a day. And then after that, I'm gonna wean down off of it, maybe using it once um, a day, then slowly going from once a day to once every two days, and just slowly trying to wean off it. I might do an experiment to see 
how it actually is if I do wean off it. Because here's another tip, you don't wanna just completely stop it at all. You wanna slowly like progress off of it. And that's after at least, at least a year of twice a day doing it. Now it's easy for me because like I said, it's a part of my skincare routine. It's almost like brushing your teeth in the morning, right? Hopefully we all take two minutes to three minutes to brush our teeth every single morning, every single night. So when you think about just applying a little foam, bam, 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 pretty easy and it tastes less than a whole entire minute to put it together. Now in regards to my routine, after I wash my face, I always do it after I wash my face, I use monoxidil foam, I apply it, bam, 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 rub it in, rub it in, rub it in, then I brush it, right? Brush it, brush it, brush it. And that's pretty much it twice a day. Now guys, if you wanna see the monoxidil that, that I use and that I recommend, I'll leave an Amazon link down below where you can get like this big pack of it for a good price. And um, that way you don't have to be running back and forth to the stores and stuff like that. So that's pretty much my um, monoxidil journey over the past year. If you have any more questions, be sure to let me know. But that's pretty much what's going on. I feel like having a beard has taken my personal look to the next level, right? Girls like beards, believe it or not. And um, if you have the right face shape to do it, then yeah, by all means, go for it. So that's pretty much it, guys. A little quick video just telling you my progress and a little update video. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.